Hi everyone! Today's makeup look is going to be featuring the brand new Tarte Swamp Queen palette which was created in collaboration with Graveyard Girl. I originally resisted buying this palette because I figured I didn't need yet another one but in the end I wasn't able to stop myself from picking it up. I'm first starting out by priming my lids with Maybelline's Master Prime and then following it up with Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. If you're new here, I need two eyeshadow primers in order to make sure that my eyeshadows last the entire day. To start off my eyes, I'm going in with Natural Peaches and using that as my transition shade. I'm buffing that through the crease with a fluffy, dense brush. And I'm going to be spending a lot of time on my crease shade because this really helps me blend out the more intense colors that I'll be using later on. Next, I'm going to be covering my entire lid with the absolutely stunning Sassy Bun shade. This color is freaking gorgeous. And I'm making sure to completely cover my lid with that shade just so I get as much color impact as I can. I'm then dipping into Dogman and patting it on the outer third of my lid as well as dragging it through my crease. This color is not only really pigmented but it also spreads a lot so start small and then add more as you need it. I went in with a little bit too much color right off the bat and had to go back in with my transition brush to blend out that shade. To deepen up the outer corner, I'm gently dipping into Sippy Sippy and literally poking myself in the outer corner to deposit the color. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going in with Big Baby and using that to help blend my transition shade up a little bit higher as well since I felt like it was a little bit choppy. I'm then dipping into hashtag FSF, which I believe stands for Swamp Family Strong, and I'm using that to highlight the inner corner of my eye. And to finish up with all my eyeshadow, I'm first lining the middle of my lower lash line with Uncommon on a pencil brush, and then I'm using that exact same brush and dipping into Man Cat to help deepen up the outer corner. In the end, I didn't find that these purple shades were that pigmented, so they didn't show up as intensely as I wanted them to. I'm then taking my Too Faced sketch marker in Espresso and creating a wing. Moving on to my face, I'm going to be priming with Laura Geller's Spackle Hydrating Primer. I definitely recommend doing your face after your eyes, particularly with this palette since I found I had a lot of fallout to clean up after the fact. My foundation today is going to be Revlon's Colorstay in Natural Beige. Uh, I am struggling a little bit lately trying to figure out what foundations I own match my skin color right now. Um, I thought this one was close enough, so we're just going to go with it. And of course, I'm pressing that into my skin with a damp Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Back to the Swamp Queen palette, I'm going to be using all three face products. I first went in with the Sweet Tea Bronzer, and as you can see, I basically stamped a poo stain on my face. This bronzer is completely unlike any Tarte bronzer I've used before, and it's not a terrible color, but the pigmentation is almost too intense for a bronzer. I left this bit uncut so you can see just how much I had to blend it out, and eventually I just went in with my foundation sponge to make sure it transitioned out onto my skin. In the end, I do like the effect of this bronzer, but there's just too much saturated color in it to make it easy for everyone to use, so be sure to tread lightly when you're applying this to your face. For blush, I'm first starting out with Does This Thing Really Work? It's quite pink, so I put it down as a base first, and then I dabbed into Man Cat and blended that on top to make it a little bit more orange to match my eye look. Okay, next was the Gator Wings highlighter, and again, I need to say it, tread lightly with this product because it's intensely pigmented and there are flecks of glitter in it as well. I do need to stress that although I was surprised by the intense pigmentation of both the bronzer and the highlighter, I do really like the end result. Okay, back to the eyes, I'm going to be filling in my brows with Quo's Precision Brow Pencil in Taupe, and we'll just skim through this since I'm not especially skilled with my brows anyway. 
For mascara, I'm going to be using Tarte's Tartist Lash Paint, and I'll be popping on a pair of House of Lashes Au Naturel Falsies off camera as well. I'm going to be going in with a lip combination for this one since I couldn't really decide how best to match the eyes. I'm first starting out with Maybelline's Vivid Lipstick in Mandarin Orange and blotting that out with my fingers so that I get a little bit less intense, more of a stained look. I'm then going over that with Tarte's Quench Lip Rescue in Rose to add a super glossy, sort of a wet look to my lips. And we're done. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.